Hello and welcome to Third Act Film. Today we'll be discussing Game of Thrones and one topic in particular, what will happen to the world of Game of Thrones if Tommen Baratheon was to die. With me is Todd James. Hello. And I'm James Forbes. So, what would happen if Tommen, Tommen Baratheon was to die? Right. So there, what Baratheons are still alive? Okay, let's go through the list, shall we? Stannis, no. Well, maybe. <laughs> if he's still Slight, alive, maybe. would it be him? Or he would, would have a stronger claim to it. Yeah, but he had the claim before, the legit claim, and Cersei just ripped it out like, no. But it w- y- yes, it was a legit claim to us as the audience, mm-hmm. but to the rest of Westeros, it isn't. Because Tommen and Joffrey and Mycela are all children of um, Rob, Robert Baratheon. So right. They're all his kids, so they should then get... Yeah. Okay. Okay. So so, so no. then Stannis didn't have actually have a claim. But if Tommen dies, he would. And it'd be a lot easier, because people are like, well, there's no others. <laughs> anyway, uh, Mycela. Oh, yeah. She's also gone. Yeah. Supposedly. Yeah. We haven't seen her actually, like, Buried in the ground. No, but you assume. Uh, Joffrey, he's already gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. Tommen um, is obviously the one who dies in this circumstance. Tommen is, is there not another? Gendry. Gen- yeah, but Gendry is not just going to be walk in yeah, to so the Iron Throne room. Hello, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm a yeah. I'm a bastard. Yeah. Hey. Now oh, no. the, f- the issue with Gendry is. Yeah. Other than the fact that he's a nobody and he's lost at sea. Yeah. Right. Other than that, is there's no one to vouch for him to say, oh yeah, he yeah that's Rob's, that's Rob's bastard. Because it can go to bastards when there's no other legitimate heirs. Right. And he can have a case. But you got to think there's currently at, by the end of season six, not only uh, is you know tons of people have died as always, but the Stormlands they're now available, which were traditionally owned by the Baratheons. But right. now there's no living Baratheons other than Tommen. Would it? Would he? With Tommen being alive, would he just keep the Stormlands for himself or give it to a friend? And then if Tommen dies, then that's not only his King's Landing and the role of king, but also the Stormlands have gone. Right. <laughs> yeah. So who would get? Who right. would get? So king? if it's not going to go, if there's no Baratheons left, which it's looking like, yeah, it's. Yeah, it's got to go to Lannister. Why? Because well, that's Queen. You think it would go to Cersei? Oh no, hold on. Because um, Marjorie. Oh yeah, but she's locked up. Yeah. If she has a child, then that ends all of this, right. and that child would become yeah. But, but if we're, we're assuming that she's not pregnant. Yeah. But if she doesn't have a child, then yeah. But would, as Queen, would it go? Would it go to her? To so Marjorie, no. no. Why not? Well, she would have to be able to defend that right, that claim, which she won't be able to. And it's not over the it... power of Cersei. But you're saying it as if Cersei's still in power. We saw the, the last episode of season six. Oh, Cersei's six. in power. The last episode of season five, sorry. The whole shame episode. Shame. Ev- shame everyone shame. hates her. Everyone. No, they and don't. So- sorry? No, they don't. I love Cersei. <laughs> No, she's yeah. got, she's still, like, Kevin Lannister yeah. is still like, I'm a Lannister, I love my family name. Yeah, yeah. She's got Maester Frankenstein, yeah. who loves her. Yeah, but that's within, within she got Jamie. the castle, but at right. the outside. <laughs> that doesn't matter. As soon as you get outside the castle walls, there'll be a revolt if they're like, Shame. oh yeah, uh, you know that woman that everyone spat on and walked down naked down the street? Yeah, she's now in charge. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've, that incestuous woman. Yeah, I f- I believe if Tommen dies, the next is Gendry, but but uh, no. no one can prove that. And then if not Gendry, I believe it goes to Daenerys, because she would have been a Targaryen. If it would just go back to, to the Targaryens, yeah. And then, but that, most people in Westeros said don't know she's alive. Yeah, there's rumours that she's alive, and especially through the religion of like the Red God. I think that's thinks. out, like, the people know that, though, as well, or is that just... I've, I think to a person who lives in King's Landing, 
He's just a rude generic peasant. <laughs> yeah, like you know, Phil down the road. He's Phil, just like, right. well, he wouldn't be called Phil in Westeros, would he? Philos. <laughs> Philos, first of his name. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> right. I think he would. Yeah, he'd just be like, yeah, I, I might have heard about that. Yeah, there's some generic Targaryens, but I thought they were all killed by Robert, no? Yeah. yeah. But then if she comes back with her dragons and her army, who's going to say no? The, the Roose Bolton. <laughs> Roose is going to be like, no, yeah. I'm the king. Yeah. yeah. And then as well, if you get into like the other theories that we had like with Jon Snow, mm-hmm. uh, are plus L equals J of sure. Rhaegar Targaryen and Lana Stark, supposedly being the parents of Jon Snow, and that would make John a Targaryen and the n- actual next progression to four Daenerys because she's a woman. Right. You see what I mean? So it would have gone... So if, if Robert had never done his rebellion, yeah, we're going way back, way back to right. season one. Yeah. Robert never did the rebellion. He had the Mad King and his son, Rhaegar Targaryen, he would have been king afterwards, yeah? Right. If, this, if the R plus L equals J theory is correct, then Rhaegar Targaryen's son is Jon Snow. So Jon would have been the next one in succession as well. Okay. But no one knows that. True. As well. That this is just like Gendry. That's just like no saying, one, oh. No one knows that. But people there are people that know. There are people who? uh Ned Stark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dead. Who? I I'll ask the question again. <laughs> same, same question. Well, uh it, so there's a story in the books. About a place called the Tower of Joy. Yeah, I know. You know I about know, this? I know, roughly. And there's also... The recent... best tower ever. <laughs> yeah, what a name. I know. <laughs> That's what I call mine. But uh, <laughs> that you had Rob's... Uh, not Rob. Ned Stark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And several other gentlemen go with him. Right. And then they all died. Great. Except for Rob Stark and... Except for Rob Stark. Sorry. I keep saying Rob Stark. Except Ned Stark. Yeah, and his friend, whose name escapes me. Okay. I'll find out his name. But, um, uh, so they, they're the only two people who met up with Lyanna Stark. Right. And, yeah. So, there is someone else who knows. He's, just, he's the father of, you know, with, uh, Bran Stark. Yeah. And he had those two weird kids with him. One that could, like, control animals and then his sister. No. You don't remember this? What? what? Bran, Bran Stark. Bran can control animals. Yeah, he and, it, and he had that other friend who could also control animals. Oh, uh, Jojen. Yeah. Right. And it's How Howland Reed. He was Ned Stark's friend. He was Ned Stark's friend and the father to the two Reed kids. Okay. And he's uh, Jojen and Maria. Or Mira. Reed. Right. He's the only other living person that we know who was there. This person who we've never seen or heard from. This person we've never seen or heard from. Great. And he may have told his children, who may also know. And we also don't, yeah, we don't know where Howland Reed is. He's supposedly where his, like, family is. But who's just going to believe this crazy old guy? True, true. That this doesn't answer who's yeah. on the throne. Plus, well, Jon Snow's dead, so... Right, right. <laughs> so this whole last, like, four minutes, just yeah. worthless. But if, you know, assuming that they bring back Jon Snow, assuming that they, uh, Howland Reed comes out of the dark and is like, you know what I know, guys? This big old secret. You know what I mean? And then... Yeah. Because there'll be less of a threat to reveal that secret because no, who's going to then kill Jon Snow now? The whole reason why they kept it a secret was to stop Robert Baratheon from killing him. Because he would have killed the child because he would have been next in there. Uh, he would have had a claim to a throne, yeah. But then, assuming Jon Snow's dead, right. and Daenerys is still in Westeros, uh, in Essos, yeah. like getting, you know, whatever with the Dothraki. Right. Who's left? <laughs> Back where we started. Yeah. I just think Cersei would just rule it from in there. You really think Cersei? Yeah. Not Kevin? Well, Kevin would be on the small council. And yeah. he, he would... Actually, yeah, but he doesn't like Cersei, does he? He's like, bro, I'm... I, I think his opinion would, would have changed after that walk of shame. There's still Lannisters. And he's a bit... He's not as much as Tywin, but he's got a bit of the... Our family name is so important. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, and then what? What about the kind of other Lannister children, like Jamie? Or Jamie's a, a, a Night's Guard. Yeah, so he they, can't. I believe he can't. Yeah. Tyrion just no. They just be like, I'd rather die than have him on the throne. Yeah. So then they're all out. Lancel. <laughs> He's, but he's given up as I well because of I becoming know. a sparrow. It's, 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 it's a good question. It is a good question. Who else it, was in the War of the Five Kings that might... Well, you've got like... Euron Greyjoy. Yeah, or <laughs> yeah you've got the Greyjoys. Rather. Like, no. Uh, they they could argue... I never understood their argument for the claim to the throne, but whatever. <laughs> of all of the kids, they were just yeah. like, oh, I want it. <laughs> yeah, I think they just wanted it more than anything. Yeah. But pretty much everyone else who has a claim is dead. And literally, if this kid dies, if Tommen, poor, beautiful Tommen. Beautiful, that's what you're going for, okay. I'm going with that, yeah. Okay. If this little kid, he's not that little in the show, but if this little right. kid, if he passes before having a child, all hell will break loose. Yeah. I think that's the answer. And I think as well, George R. R. Martin knows this. And I think <laughs> he's set it up specifically <laughs> so that this, yeah. yeah. And I think he knows, you know, we, you know, how many seasons do we have left? How many books do we have left? Not that many. Yeah. You know, what two. better way to? Because the War of the Five Kings is kind of over. Yeah. What better way to reignite it than to be like, oh, the throne's up for grabs again. Yeah. Littlefinger is going to get in there. That's a real good answer, to be honest. You think about <laughs> Peter Baelish. He's not only has he managed to take over the Riverlands. Hmm. He's also taken over uh, the Vale. The Eerie. <laughs> Eerie. Eerie. And he's also supposedly planning to take the North away from yeah. the Boltons. He has permission from the Crown to do That's that. That's one. Roose Bolton might have a claim. If he's Warden of the North, although the North hate him, yeah. they hate him. They do have support, but not strong enough support to take mm. on the South. But if, if uh, Peter Baelish is able to take back the north he would have three places in the north who all pledge their allegiance if he's able to find Sansa or whoever and marry off Sansa to Robin for instance or whatever mm-hmm. and he has power you know the name of the Starks That's he doesn't three... have any heirs though or anything does he who Peter Bailiff yeah himself no or that we know of he probably has <laughs> bare heirs <laughs> actually no he's like asexual oh no he used to love um, what's it yeah Catelyn. He used to love Catelyn Stark yeah. and kind of loves Well, if Sansa. he were to marry Sansa, yeah. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> <laughs> second of all, that would get the North fully on his side. Yeah. And with no real, like, together Opposition. force in the South. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's three places. And it, it, say if he finds Gendry. And yeah. he, 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 could he stick probably Gendry knows. On. Yeah, he, he probably yeah, knows he knows he's a brat. Him and Varys know. Yeah. <laughs> of <laughs> Let's course they know. And then he can either A, say, you know what, Gendry's actually the true heir, or B, before Tommen dies, have him have control of Stormland. So you have Peter Baelish sitting there as the kind of puppet master of four out of the seven kingdoms would be under Peter Baelish's control. And he's already sure. and he's allied with the Tyrells already, so that's five. Yeah. Leaving just King's Landing and Dawn. He doesn't care about Dawn, though. No one cares about Dawn's Dawn. Dawn's its own place. Dawn's yeah. its own place. Like, no one cares about Dawn, but you you could see Peter Baelish making his way. Yeah? Yeah. Anyway, what do you guys think? I can't know if we didn't really answer the question. I don't think there is an answer, to be fair. I think that's deliberate. That's what's so exciting. Yeah. If Tommen dies, this whole Game of Thrones is up in the, the air. The game's back on. Is literally back on. They've got the board back out. Yeah. They're rolling the dice. So who do you guys think would take control? Who would? What would happen if Tommy was to die? That was like episode one, season six, is him getting stabbed <laughs> in the throat. He's like, yeah. whoa, we're back. <laughs> yeah. Have we missed anyone, any really obvious candidates? Yeah. I don't think we have, but still, leave any suggestions in the comments. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye. Bye.